a thousand inches a minute. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. That machine was actually running at a thousand inches a minute. A thousand inches a minute. Just think what I could do with that. That model I cut last weekend and it took me five hours of machining time. I could, I could do it so quickly. And that uh, little gear I cut out, it, it took me a, a you know, quarter of an hour to cut. I, I could have it done in minutes. I would be so efficient around the workshop. And you'd be wrong. A thousand inch of rapids is not going to change your machining time very much at all. When it comes to 3D mod cutting, it's not going to make a scrap of difference to how quickly this gets cut. And it's not going to make any difference to how quickly I could cut out that gear either. Here's why. Thousand inches is a maximum speed. It takes time to accelerate to that speed and time to decelerate from it. So when the gantry is moving along the table, it takes about a second for it to get up to speed. It can travel along the Y gantry for three seconds and then needs to spend another second decelerating back down to zero. Now, assuming most of the rapids you have to do don't involve traversing the entire length of your axis, you're going to not really save any time. And hopefully your machining is a lot more efficient than spending more time running about getting to the position where it needs to cut than it does cutting. I would imagine your machine will spend most of its time actually cutting out what you want to do. So here's another problem. You can't cut at a thousand inches a minute. It's just not practical. I'm running a one horsepower router on this machine. And I cut at about a maximum of 200 inches a minute. Now the rapids I set on this here are 600 inches a minute. But I can't cut that fast. The router cannot push a cutter through the material that quickly. I would need around about a five horsepower router to do that sort of nonsense. And even then, I'm not even sure it could, given the fact that it takes three seconds to actually accelerate to that speed. It would be far more efficient for me to take a much deeper cut than to simply take a lot of small cuts quickly, which is what most commercial machines do. They simply cut through the material in one pass, or maybe two passes, rather than just trying to run around the material at lightning speed. Now, when it comes to machining a 3D model, high rapid speeds have absolutely zero effect on machining time. None whatsoever. Trying to get your rapids nice and high for that type of machining is a complete waste of time. What determines your machining speed is your acceleration. Because each move in a 3D model is so small, the machine never gets up any speed. It starts at the minimum speed that you've set it to in Mach 3, and will be very lucky if it gets much faster than that before it goes to the next move. That's why machining 3D models takes so long. And it's not only that. OK, I've sped my y-axis up nice and fast, but the y-axis speed has nothing to do with its machining speed either. It's the Z. The Z does all the work when you're 3D machining. So if you want to try and increase the speed of your 3D machining, try increasing the speed of your z-axis. Usually it runs a lot slower than the x and y. Now, I didn't crank up the speed on this machine to make anybody feel inadequate. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm trying to show just how useless high-speed rapids actually are. They're nice to a certain point. I run this machine normally at 600 inches a minute, which is a good, practical, high-speed rapid. 
a thousand inches a minute will only save me a few seconds on every job and I can afford the time but there are great disadvantages to running it faster first up and more importantly stepper motors get weaker the faster they go so at a thousand inches a minute it's probably got less than half the power it does when it's running at 600 at 1200 inches a minute and yes it will actually run that fast as well it only does about three laps of the table before it stalls for no really apparent reason maybe an insect flew into it or something it just takes nothing to stop it what's more when you're 3D machining it'll make no difference whatsoever and those are the sorts of jobs that take most of the time now a small lightweight CNC machine with high acceleration will probably tear this one a new one when it comes to 3D machining even if it only has a maximum speed of 60 inches a minute it will probably easily outpace this machine because it's so big and heavy and ultimately so slow where it counts which is in the acceleration department it's your machining speed you need to worry about not how quickly it can run around the table sure high rapids are nice but they're not the be all and end all of your machine well that wraps it up for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later cheers now here's the important part I didn't crank my machine up to a thousand inches a minute to make anybody feel inadequate in actual fact the opposite it shows just how useless it is you're never going to attract women by telling oh, a, uh, I've got a machine that uh, a thousand inches a minute you know uh, the only people you're going to attract with that are hairy ass CNC operators and ugh, does nothing for me I'm afraid